All right, here we go with the third Battle of Winchester from the Death Valley box, GMT Games, the Great Battles of the American Civil War series. Once again, this is the, the last one that has been published. Of course, we know Into the Woods is coming. Um, I decided this time to try to play three turns. Um, the reason was is I played two turns and then eh, nothing really exciting. A lot of movement was going on. But then the third turn, everything sort of broke out. So uh, we played 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and the noon turn. All right. uh, those officers on the board there, because they're not listed in the reinforcement chart like everything else is, they're kind of written in a note off to the side or at the bottom. I put them on the turn track, so I won't forget them. Um, so the 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock turn was mostly maneuver, reinforcements coming on. And to give you an idea of <laughs> the 12 o'clock turn and why this took so long, here's a quick look. Here are the activation chits. And it can get to be more. Um, just one of those turns where everybody drew either four or three. Just, you know, some of the guys, that their leaders drew a three, they had a plus ones. So on their division, or on their core, uh, or their, yeah, the division commanders, some of them. All right, so here's, here's how things have gone. The, let's move around to the side here, try to get this light out of the way. Move around to the other side. All right, so, pretty much most of the Union armies on the board. You've got the last to arrive so far would be Crook's Army of West Virginia. And you see what they're doing. They're going to gallivant around that uh, southwestern side there. Now they came in obviously in March order and they used, they used three or four. I, don't, I think I only used three to keep the fatigue off them. Um, not that the early fatigue, the okay or the zero will really hurt them. Um, Alright, so the battle has got busy on all sides of the map. The, was it 19th Corps? Uh, their 2nd Division came on and immediately sped to the, uh, to the north of Winchester. You know, you gotta try to drive down in here and Get entry through these forts, all right? Maybe catch a, there's an entry hex down here somewhere. Catch a hex, it's a hex down here. You get in that, you get, they get big points shifts for that, so. So, Rhodes came on from the north, and Wharton from Breckenridge's Corps came on from the north, but I don't know what they're going to do. They're... Regiment strength wise, they're just so small compared to some of these, but they actually have done a good job. Now Rhodes did lose, he had a regiment completely knocked out uh, from his division over here, a force strength, uh, so 200 men. Um, but they've actually, they've held their own right there and they're in the open, so really didn't have a chance to get them into any real defensive, defensible position. Um, as far as trying to get down here, which would have been nice had they been able to get down in here. All right, but that just didn't happen. Um, the second division, 12th Corps, hit them, and he's faced all. He's facing three different directions. Plus, he's uh, facing Gordon down here, and I think Gordon has Hood in there somewhere. Or I mean, not, not Hood. I'm sorry. He's got. Uh, eh, I see none of them are strong. You know, the Confederates' big thing is their morale is awesome. But you can see the first division of the 19th Corps, they're not even in all in line. They're not even engaged yet. So they're fixing to get involved. All right, 6th Corps. Uh, Getty's still pressing. He finally got back up here to where he get in line and start putting some shots. And it's unfortunate that I've got to use the Confederate Cavalry because I can't get these units. I had to put Gordon into play to try to slow down the 1st Division of the 6th Corps, which is coming right here. And Gordon's he's doing okay. He's dealing with them okay. All right? But to keep that pocket, I had to put 2nd Cav in here. And I also had to put 2nd Cav along this wood line here above this creek because Ricketts Division, the 2nd Division of the 6th Corps, is 
coming out of those woods right there. And this cab has actually done a pretty good job, plus with the few batteries of artillery center, they've done some good damage on uh, rickets to keep them at bay. I, it's not going to last. Um, I may have started thinking about uh, doing some withdrawal movement here and getting back to these defensive positions. The thing is, is i got to get Wharton with Breckenridge out of there. Um, Gordon here falls under Breckenridge's core. Rhodes here darn light. i got to find a better way to do this. Rhodes right here falls under Early. And then, of course, Wharton falls under Breckenridge. And, of course, Ramsur over here, he falls under Early. Um, and he's done okay. he got some disruptions going on. Really nothing major left to come in. It's like most of it's Cav. Yeah, to come in, to come in on the game. Kershaw the other Confederate, you know, that was an optional, and I prefer to play by the historic rules, so as far as I'm concerned, Kershaw, he's already halfway to Richmond, okay? Um, the Union's got all their infantry on the board, but they've got, let's see, they've got one, one infantry unit left in Dowd, or Duval, and they've got uh, two cavalry divisions, Merritt and April left to come on. So, you know, there's 90% of the troops are on the board right now. I think right that this, this advance over here is going to sort of upset the balance of this game. Union artillery, just, I've not been able to get them into the into the fray. I'm hoping that right here, finally, the 6th Corps artillery is going to get where they can shoot. But now, it looks like we're going to be pulling Ram Zero out uh, back into these positions here. Truthfully, I don't know what that's going to do. Um... And apparently from reading about the fight, you know, the Confederates all fell back into here and then around Richmond, but the, the Union was just too, too much for them. And uh, eventually they skid out and out down the Valley Turnpike down south. And I believe what, uh, the Cedar Creek that was next or Fisher's Hill, but it was, it was pretty much near the end of the Valley anyhow about this time, so... All right, well, we're going to see how these things develop on this next turn and uh, see if the Union can break through. I mean, they could just sit back and pick and pop from a distance, but they need to drive to these objectives. They need to get push the Confederates beyond these objectives here and then get through them and take them themselves, and that, uh, that might sort of sway things in their favor very easily. All right, well, we're going to keep driving on. Uh, like I say, if you, if you enjoy this stuff, give me a like. Click subscribe, click notify if you want to keep up to date uh, the next time I pop one up there. Uh, I'll try not to take as long this time, but like I say, when you get activations like that, it, uh, it takes a while. So, alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you all soon.